Hi guys, hi, hi, happy Halloween. Just kidding, it's September. It's like September 8th, 9th, 8th? I don't know. Um, I am actually redoing this video because I've already done it once, but our hot water heater was running in the background and I cannot get it out. I can't edit it out. So I'm going to redo this video. Um, I went shopping earlier this week. I bought a bunch of stuff for Halloween. And if you don't know me, if you haven't seen my my desk, you see my desk, part of my desk. I love Halloween. I love sugar skulls. I love skulls. I love fall and Christmas. That has nothing to do with skulls. But I did want um, I went I want to show you what I bought. I went to Target and Home Goods, and that was it. And then I went to Walmart and bought candy corns, which I'm so excited about. So the first thing I got were these two packs of pumpkins. They're like polystyrene or foam pumpkins or whatever. Really lightweight. I got four gold polka dot, or gold black and white polka dot, and then four spray painted gold black and white. And I don't officially collect pumpkins or anything like that, but I do like to have like little piles of them by the fireplace, so that's what these are for. I think they're just really cute and very classy. And I kind of stick to a very classic theme when it comes to Halloween stuff. It's not crazy. It's usually like black, white, and orange and gold. The next two things I bought, they're so cute. So cute. Were these little velvet pumpkins. Purple one and a teal one. These were a dollar each at the Target dollar spot. And I love them and they're super soft and squishy. I thought they'd just be fun, uh, very classy um, addition to my Halloween collection. Which I just said I do like black, white, and orange and gold, but... I lied. I bought this. This is a, like a gunmetal gray round bottle. Bottle. And it's really pretty. It was only $3. Um, I have a little apothecary section that I like to decorate. So I thought this would be a fun addition. I don't know if you can see that it's sparkly. It's so pretty. The next thing I bought at Target was this mirror. Uh, it's kind of got like a vintage Victorian frame with a spider web attached to it. I was actually going to decorate our spare bathroom this year because we have one and I thought it would be fun to put little Halloween notums in, or decorums in there and this is one of them I wanted to put on the wall. The mirror is pretty good quality. This is only $3 in the Target selection as well. And the next thing I bought also from Target, this is all from Target until I go to Home Goods, um, is this sign. It's super cute. It says drink up witches and happy Halloween. I think it was only $3, yeah, $3. And I thought it would just be fun to add um, in our kitchen. Um, we don't really have like a little bar area, but that'd be kind of fun to do. But um, the next thing I bought at Target, I don't know about you guys, but I am a fan of Edgar Allan Poe. I loved his poetry when we uh, read it in high school and I read a lot of them and a lot of his writings. So I saw this at the Target spot, dollar, whatever it's called. And I had to get it. It's a um, ceramic tombstone that says Nevermore on it. And it's pretty, it's like sturdy. This is pretty heavy. So it was only a dollar. And I thought it would be fun to add into the bathroom uh, on the sink or something like that. And I, I just, you, why you can't say no to an Edgar Allan Poe. The next two things I bought at Target are matching. And I love them. I have a thing, I have a problem with buying bowls, like things that don't, from a thing that I like, like sets and things like that. I don't buy full sets, I just buy one or two that I like. So I bought these two bowls. This one is a black bowl with stripes on the inside. It's got like a gold painting on the edge of the rim. And it says, Hocus Pocus, which is one of my favorite movies, with the exception of Halloween Town, because I love that movie. This is only $3. I thought I could put candy in it. We don't really have like Halloween parties at our house, but I did think um, just really cute. And if I do any videos or anything like that, this will be a fun addition to it. And then the second bowl I got is a Beetlejuice kind of vertical stripe bowl with the uh, gold edging. And the inside's orange and it says, which better have my candy. So it's kind of like went with the drink up witches. And I thought that was really cute. And it's just another bowl. So this is what I do is I buy like two that I like. I didn't like any of the other ones. And then that's all I've got, which, hmm, whatever. So that was all I got at Target. Now at Home Goods, I got a couple more things. I didn't get a ton. The first thing I got were these towels. It says, if the broom fits, write it. And it's a little witch. And it's got this really nice, like, subtle gray. Oh, I didn't realize those were bats. 
It's like bats and leaves and kind of like wind gestures, you know, like the icon for wind swirling around. I just thought it was really cute. I was gonna put these in our spare bathroom to decorate with, because we have plenty of kitchen towels, but I thought this would be a fun addition in the spare bathroom. And these were, I think, $7 at Home Goods. The next thing I bought at Home Goods, which will be no surprise to anybody that knows me, are some sprinkles. These are spooky sprinkles. They've got black bat sugar quins, ghost sugar quins, and then orange jimmies. I plan on baking cookies for Halloween, so I thought this would be a fun little thing to add on top of them, and it was only three bucks. Like, how can you say no? The next two items I bought um, were kind of like beauty, beauty items, I guess, maybe? I don't know. The first one is pumpkin soap and this is from Asquith and Somerset it is a brand that home goods sells pretty frequently this is just it says pumpkin flavored and it only it just says fragrance and the ingredients and then like typical soap ingredients but kind of just smells like cinnamon and nutmeg which is really nice I really like it and I thought this would be um, cute to have in the spare bathroom and then the second thing I had uh, that I bought from the like bath section has nothing to do with Halloween at all but I had to I just really wanted to try this so this is from the same company um, Asquith and Somerset it's a lavender bath fizzer and apparently you just pop a couple bars off and toss it in your bath water this is only four dollars and it smells amazing I love I love the smell of lavender it's a great uh, oil or essential oil or fragrance whatever you want to call it to add to uh, calm you down. It's supposed to be a good like calming agent. So I was really excited to get that and try it. And then the last two items are amazing. Everything's been great, but these are like 10 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? So the first one, the first next to last item is <laughs> it's a curse book. It looks like the one from Hocus Pocus, but it's obviously not like it's just an interpretation, maybe inspiration, if you will. Um, this is really cute. I love it. I love that it lights up. This was only like, yeah, eight bucks and it's cool. This, the light that you see on the inside glows like on the pages. I can see it in the mirror and it glows through some of these cracks in the back. So I thought this was really fun. And I was saying earlier, I have like an apothecary section, so I was gonna add this to it as like my witch apothecary section. I, you just can't pass up on something that is related to the best movie of all time, besides Halloween Town. <laughs> the last thing I got, which is gigantic, and I can't believe it was as cheap as it was, was this gigantic coffin. It is solid wood. This thing is heavy. I could, I could, I could bash someone's brain in with this. It's kind of morbid, but. <laughs> Anyway, um, it's an etched out bride and groom skull set and it's just black, white, and red and it was only $15 at Home Goods. And I have, in the last few years, I've said this, I don't know how many times, I love sugar skulls. I love Dia de los Muertos. I love skulls. That's kind of, it's not like, I don't like spikes in skulls, like skulls and crossbones and poison, but I like Halloween, like kind of like morbid romantic gothic romantic romantic gothicism gothic romanticism i don't know what it's called anyway i like this one a lot it's just really pretty and i have a lot of like bride and groom things that i've been buying in the lot since i've known jose because i just that's something i really the aesthetic pleases me quite a bit so i got this and um since i have a bunch of coffin type things i'll probably just add this to the collection and maybe create a little space for that somewhere in the house but that's all I bought um, at Target and Home Goods. I'm hoping I can do a fall haul soon because I want to buy some stuff for fall. Um, but that's it. Um, I'm going to go. It is a Friday. I'm going to go have a blast on the town. And you guys are coming along with me. So be sure to check up, check up, check in, whatever. Be sure to follow my YouTube channel and go find that weekend vlog, which will be this weekend's vlog. Which who knows what it's going to be about because there's a wedding, there's an art walk, there's it the movie. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment down below. What's your favorite holiday? Do you love Halloween? If you do, what's your favorite like theme? Like I said, I like this like romantic gothic type style. And then I also like classic like pumpkins and witches and ghouls. Oh my. So um, let me know which one you like. What's your favorite? And I will see you guys later. Bye.